Hello friends. So today we can discuss the problem A from the educational code forces round 100 problem named dungeon. So this problem statement is easy to understand, but the problem is a little bit hard to implement. You just have to draw it out to even make it more clear. I always focus out in drawing out the examples and many of my subscribers thought that the problem becomes difficult if you don't take a paper and a pen while solving a question. Okay, try to find out small details in a problem and then it can become simpler and simpler as you focus on the problem more. So the problem statement states that you have to kill three monsters with health A, B and C. So you can like you can assume that you have some cannon and you can shoot the from cannon to any monsters A, B or C and the health of that monster decreased by one. Okay, now also it states that every every shot which you do in a multiple of seven which means the seventh shot 14th shot 21st shot and so on will be in such a way that it will shoot all the three monsters at a time and like at the same time so when you shoot the first like ball from the cannon it will only shot any one monster and decrease its health by one so second third fourth fifth sixth they all are same they'll hit only one monster and decrease the health by one but the seventh 14th and 21st and so on these shot will hit all the three monsters at once and kill them not kill them decrease the health by one so the problem statement states that you have to kill all the three monsters at once which means that if you want to kill all the three monsters at once it means that you have to kill all the monsters at a multiple of seven so whether it is possible or not that's the question can you kill all the three monsters at a multiple of seven or not so what you can easily see in this problem is so let's assume that you have some monsters which have some uh, power which you can see in the first example 3, 4, 3, 2 and 4. So 3, 2 and 4. Now what you can easily see in this problem is when you hit some monster its health decreases by 1 like any of the monster then it will again health decrease by 1, 1 and so on till like this is the first shot, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and when the seventh time come you'll kill all the three monsters like not kill you'll hit all the three monsters with one ball and the health decrease by three the total health will decrease by three if you add all these numbers it will become nine which means that okay you always you all should also know that after this point at this point or the seventh, fourteenth 14th point you have to kill all the three monsters then what you can see in this problem is if you take this as a whole what i mean as a whole is if you take that if you hit one monster two monster because you cannot end any monster at this point you cannot see that all the three monsters health becomes zero at the fifth point that is not possible you have to take this in this window so if you hit all the monsters in this window then what is means by this that you have to take all the monsters health collectively okay you might like you might decrease this monster height or what you can see also what you can do is here is try to decrease all the monsters where like health by one one like try to make all the monsters health to one bring it down to one so as you can see if this is three two four first bring this monsters health to one so how many balls you'll take you will take two balls so that you'll you'll do the two shots on this monster it will help decrease down to one then do one shot on this monster it's health decrease down to one then then do like three shots on this monster it health decrease down to one because now at this point you have to always bring down all the monsters health to one when it becomes at one you'll hit the like the like this shot seventh shot and uh, like the 14th shot and make it all zero and that's the whole make like problem thing you have to understand that you have to make all the monsters health become one at the same time okay and you, if you want to make all the monsters health one at the same time you what you can easily do is try to first kill the first monster and break its health to one then the second monster another third monster and so on that's that's your main goal okay so it means that if you always wants to kill the monsters in this bracket the total decrease in like power is nine which means that if this is a multiple of nine what you can easily state that if this is a multiple of nine you can decrease the whole power of this whole group by nine at once then in the in the next chance it's again nine so it will kill by this point if it's a multiple of nine you can kill all the monsters by like in one bracket so if by by nine like because the total sum is nine if the total summation of the power of the monsters is a multiple of nine you can kill them but that's not always possible what i mean by this is 
let let's assume that you have some power which is one one seven or not seven uh, just make it another multiple of nine which is 18 so uh, this is 18 just subtract two this is 16 if this is like this the, the monstrous power is one one sixteen then as you can see though it's a multiple of nine which is 18 but this is not a valid answer why because see you will you will try to do the same you will want you want to bring all the health of the monsters to one so this is already one this is already one you will try to bring this as one so try to hit the cannonball to this so you will hit the ball to this it will become 15 then 14 and so on but when you hit a total of six balls to it which means that when its power come to 10 okay now when you hit the next ball which is a seventh ball you will hit all the three monsters and when you hit all the three monsters this health will become zero this health will become zero and this health will become like nine i hope you get my point though it is a multiple of nine but this already becomes zero my end goal is to make all of them equal to zero at the same time and thus this is not possible so what you have to see also that these numbers every number should be at least more than the number of shots we have to do so what i mean by this is because let's assume that the total number of so there are some shots which is means that there is some shot of type this seventh shot this is this is called enhanced shot which will come you have to see how many enhanced shot you have to do because at every enhanced shot you have to decrease all the health by one i hope you get my point because see if you want to do like 18 shots if you want to decrease the total by 18 how many enhanced shots will be there the total number of enhanced shots will be two so you should always like you have to take care that every number of this should be at least two because then only you can make them down big like at the same time if they are less than two then what will happen that whenever there's an enhanced shot you will take and hit all of them at once and one of them will become great like less than zero i hope you get my point so everything should be greater than the enhanced point like number of enhanced spots and also the total will be divisible by nine and that's the two condition for this problem i hope you get the point i'll dig down to the code part now so this is simple just add all the numbers if the summation of all the numbers is, is mod 9 then the answer is okay but you should also consider how many enhanced shot you will do because this is one like this is one window of size 9 so in this one window how many enhanced shot is there one shot is there so how many if there's total sum is this how many enhanced shot will be there this total divided by 9 so we should always ensure that every number a b and c should be greater than or equal to this k the number of enhanced shot because if it's less than enhanced shot it the case might happen that when you hit a b or c it will go less than k or the, the total number of enhanced shot and, and it will become zero earlier so that's not valid for our answer and if both of these conditions hit true then the answer is yes or the answer no i hope you get the intuition of this problem if you still have doubts you can mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye